welcome to strength of material lectures by civil thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on strain or elongation in actually loaded members now as you know actually loaded members are those members in which the load is acting along the axis okay for example let me assume this is a member it is connected here and this is the load acting on it okay let the load be r now because it is along the major axis okay the load r is along the major axis or along the length of this member so this is the case of actually loaded members okay now let us see first why is this problem an actually load member now as you can see this is a member a b c it is a horizontal member when a load W is applied at point D, right, the ABC member will bend like this, right. Now, when this will bend, these steel wires, this steel member or steel rod and this bronze rod, it will resist the bend, right. So, there will be reactions in this direction, right, in this direction. Because when you apply load W downwards, ABC will try to bend in this shape right red shape why because here it is a pin okay it is a pin so it will try to bend like this but at b and c these rods bronze rod and steel rod they will develop reaction right reaction now as you can see here it is along the length of these the reaction loads or reactions or along the length of these rods that's why this problem is known as problem on actually loaded members right so let us begin the problem now before i move on i want to tell you if you have any strength of material problems you can contact me the link to contact me to ask me any strength of material problems is in the description of this video okay you can ask me any problems and i will definitely help you so let's move on to the problem the problem is as shown in the figure, a rigid beam with negligible weight is pinned at one end. Okay, this is ABC. It is a member. It is basically a beam. Okay, it is a beam ABC, which is horizontal, right? Now, it is horizontal and it is connected to a pin at one end. As I told you before, at A, there is a pin. Okay, now uh, and uh, and attached to two vertical rods now here is a vertical rod which is a bronze rod whose cross section area is this Young's modulus of velocity E is this and L is the length length is 1.2 meters similarly we have another steel rod here whose details are here across A is the cross section area E is the Young's modulus and L is the length anyways this ABC beam is have a pin at A and it is connected to two vertical rods at B right and c now the beam was initially horizontal before the load w equal to 200 kilonewton was applied find the vertical movement of w now when there was no load okay this there, there was no w w was zero initially now of course this was horizontal as you can see in the diagram abc is what it is horizontal right now when the load is w is applied how much w 200 kilonewton when you apply a load this abc will bend into a uh, in this red line okay we have to find the vertical movement of w we have to find let me say this d has moved to d dash right we have to find the movement of d up to d dash it means we have to find d d dash this length that is the vertical movement of w okay let me say this B when it bends it has rigid to B dash now when C has bent it will reach to C dash right now we have to find D D dash we can also call it as something like let us call this as Delta W okay Delta W is the length D D dash which we have to find now as you can see you can understand very well from the diagram when the c point it will reach to c dash right don't you think the length of this vertical rod will increase because it is fixed here right it is fixed here also this bronze rod it is fixed here 
so how is it possible when b will reach to b dash it is only possible when the length of this rod has increased right it means if i draw a line like this let me call this point something p okay let me call this point as q so the initial length before the load w was applied before the load w the length of bronze rod was qb right now when the load w is applied it has bent like this the length of bronze is now qb dash right qb dash it means the increase in length in bronze is bb dash right from here to here this is the increase in length also initially the length was pc of the steel rod now when the load w is applied the length has reached from p c dash now how much is the increase in length increase in length is c c dash now let me call this let me erase this first now let me call this c c dash as uh, delta what delta c okay delta c is the increase in length of the steel rod and it is also the movement of point c to c dash right movement moving okay or the displacement of c now similarly this b b dash it is the increase in length or the strain in the bronze let me call this as uh, delta b b for bronze or b is b is the point whatever b is the point so i call it as delta b now we have to find delta w now think how we are going to find delta w now see we can find delta c we can also find delta b right we can find delta c we can find delta b how we are going to find because as i have told you before we can find let me say this is a member okay let me say this is a member pc okay its length is l it is fixed here when a load is applied here some p or r let r be the load now there will be increase in length okay dude when you pull here downwards the length will increase like this okay let me say it was initially it was like this then this much is the increase in length okay why because you have applied a load r here now this is let me say the increase in length is delta l okay increase in length is delta l now we know delta l is r l upon a e now increase initially the length was l okay from here to here it was l then you applied a load r due to this the length l has increased to l plus delta l now due to this r the it, it has been stretched there is a strain in this member actually load member there is a strain or elongation in this member the elongation is delta l and this delta l is given by rl upon ae okay now similarly here when the load w is applied here will be some reactions let me call this reaction as r uh, c here will develop a reaction okay this will resist the you know the movement of this beam now finally it will resist but it cannot hold it okay it has to bend like this because this is shown this abc beam has bent into this red it means these reactions have failed to stop it okay now how much is this delta c can you say how much is the load rc now l uh, l is a length right let me say ls is the length of steel because rl upon a e divided by a uh, a of steel okay which is 500 square millimeter multiplied by e but e of steel es e for steel similarly you can see you can apply this formula here too okay now it was an introduction now first of all when we find this delta c because it is the only way we can find the deformation okay see why i will find delta c why i will not find delta w because finding delta w is not possible see what i will do because this is delta c okay i know the lengths this is a triangle okay 
Now, when I know this CC dash, it is a triangle, right? This is a triangle. This is a triangle. Now, I let me draw here. Now, this is a triangle. I know this length, delta C, how? From this, okay. First of all, we will find the RC. Then, I will find the delta C. Then, we have to find something here, right? Delta W. This is a delta W. Though, because this is the similar triangle, they have the same angle. Okay, O, A, uh, O, D, C, C dash, D dash. Now this triangle, O, C, C dash, this triangle and small triangle, O, D, D dash, they have the common angle. Because of this, we can find the delta W from this. I will show you everything, don't worry. I am just showing the introduction. Why I will do steps, delta C. Because, you know, some teachers, they just solve the problem step one step two and you don't know why we are doing this okay now this is the reason why i will find delta c okay or why i will find delta v because you know it is not important to find delta c okay you can also find the delta v right here delta v then from these two triangles this and this you can also find delta w delta w again okay now this is the approach uh, let us choose anything. We can find delta C or we can find delta V. Let me say well, I will find delta C. Okay. Now for delta C, I need to know length of steel. I know length of steel is four meter. E I know. A I know. It means I know each and everything. I just don't know R C. Right. Now R C I will find how. Now we will find that using some equations. Okay. So let's begin solving this problem. Now, first of all, let me draw the free body diagram. Okay, we have to draw the free body diagram of this system. So, initially it was straight. Okay, let me change its color. It was like this. Then it went into something like this. All right. Now, when a load W is applied, W is applied at D point. Okay, let me say this is point A. This is point B. This is point D. And this is point C. Now, when a load W is applied here, let me draw the W here. Okay. Now, this is the load W applied here, which is, of course, 200. Kilo Newton. Now kilo is 10 power 3 Newton. Okay. Now here we'll develop reaction, right? Because this is W is downwards, so the resistance will be upwards, right? So I will draw arrows here. Let me say this is reaction at C. Now at B there is bronze, right? Let me draw this. reaction of bronze right now the bend now B will reach to B dash right D will reach to D dash right now C will reach to C dash let me draw the it like this okay now C will reach to C dash when it will bend right now this A is a pin joint. In pin joint, when you apply a load downwards, a reaction upward will arise. Okay. Upward reaction, right? Let me call this as RA. Okay. Now, what we have to find? Remember, we have to find RC. Remember why? Because then we will find delta C. This is a delta C. C, C dash is delta C. We have to find delta W and of course this is delta B, right? I have chosen not to find delta B or I can easily find delta B too, okay? It is our choice. Anyways, I will find delta C. Then with the help of these two triangles, I will find delta W. I will show that later on, okay? Now, I remember, keep in mind, we have to find RC because then we can find what? Because this delta C is what? Delta C is RC. 
LC divided by AC EC right remember we know everything see here is the length LC this is the AC and what is this is the EC okay we know everything we need to find RC anyways we have to find RC so how we are going to find RC see I will apply a moment here now based on the static equilibrium I will find the summation of all the moment at A and equate it to zero okay I will equate it to zero now I will show you how why I will do this let me write summation of moment at A is zero okay now I will also make some assumptions let me say uh, anti-clockwise moments are negative and clockwise moments are positive okay now RC will exert mm, let me change the color first now at A there will be movement due to RC there will be movement due to W there will be movement due to RB now there will be no movement at A due to RA why because RA is passing through A now let us find the movement due to RC now RC will exert movement like this what is like what is it it is anti-clockwise so it is anti-clockwise is negative right this is negative so I will write minus RC multiplied by distance between RC and A because we are finding the moment about A right we are finding moment about this now how much far is RC from A okay let me mention that now here you can see 3 meter is from A to D and 2 meter is from D to C it means C is far how much far from A 3 plus 2 is 5 right mm. I can also mention that here no problem it is 5 meters it is 5 meters RC multiplied by 5 now from A to B is 1.5 okay now I found the moment due to RC now let us find the moment due to W now this W as you can see here it is acting downwards so it will exert moment like this right which is clockwise so clockwise moment is what clockwise moments are positive right so I will write plus w multiplied by distance of d from a how much is it from here to here a to d from a to d is how much three meters right it is three meters three meters so i will write w multiplied by three and w is 210 power 3 210 power 3 multiplied by distance is three meters now we, I found the moment due to RC, I found moment due to W. Now let's find the moment due to RB. Now RB is acting upwards. So at A, it is going to exert moment like this, which is anti-clockwise, right? And anti-clockwise moment is negative. So I will write minus RB multiplied by how much it is for 1.5 meters, right? Now this is the summation. Of all this is moment one this is another moment and this is two and all of this equation is a summation right summation of moments summation of moments is equal to zero so I will write is equal to zero now why I did this because I will find an equation to find the RC see here you can see RC because I have to find RC so I will use one equation now you can see can we find RC here this is one unknown we don't know RC but we also don't know RB now you can see this is equation this is only one equation right let me call it as equation number one this is only one equation but two variables RC and RB they are two variables but we only have one equation so we cannot solve this problem we cannot find the unknown RC or RB so what we are what do we need of course we need one more equation right is it true we need one more equation because we have two unknowns only one equation when we have at least two equations and two unknowns when the number of equations are equal to number of unknowns at least okay then we can find the unknowns so 
let us find a way to find another equation in terms of rc rb or both so let us think let us observe analyze this equation this diagram and try to find an equation do you have anything in mind you can comment your suggestion how we are going to find another equation in terms of rc and rb or just one variable see this is a triangle right this okay from let me say this from triangle a c c dash and this triangle okay small triangle this small triangle okay a b b dash you can see the a c c dash and a b b dash they have a common angle angle a is common to both this triangle and the big triangle isn't it what does that mean that means the tan of this angle is same now why i will find tan because tan is perpendicular divided by base the perpendicular involves these things okay that's why i will apply tan now see tan of the acc dash tan of triangle acc dash okay and is equal to tan of a b b dash right i'm applying the tan uh, tan at angle a for both the triangles because the angle is same for example this angle is 30 what is tan 30 now tan 30 is a constant okay if you consider this a to be part of big triangle or if you consider a to be part of small triangle it doesn't matter tan of a, an angle of a fixed angle is same it doesn't matter to which triangle it belongs now what is the tan of this big triangle tan of big triangle is perpendicular this is cc dash which is delta c divided by base base of big triangle a cc dash is from a to c it is the base of a cc dash which is 5 meters divided by 5 which is equal to tan of small triangle which is perpendicular which is delta v okay if you have any problem in understanding you can ask me okay please ask me i will definitely help you okay now perpendicular divided by base okay base of small triangle is 1.5 now i need to find rc and rb or any one of them but why i did this why i did this because i know this delta it is the it is the deformation as you can see this delta c okay this is delta c here as i have told you before and this is delta b i can find delta c and delta b from these numbers right these i mean these things i can generate one equation so let us use delta c what is the value of delta c delta c is rc lc divided by ac ac so i can write now rc lc ac ec right this is delta c but here is divided by 5 divided by 5 is equal to now delta b is what of course rb lb ab eb divided by 1.5 now let us put the values now lc is what lc is length of this steel rod lc which is 4 meter so i can write here rc multiplied by 4 divided by 5 multiplied by ac is cross sectional area of steel which is 500 square millimeter now square millimeter i will convert it into meter square why because i want to convert all the units to si units when we have the same units okay it will help us solve the problem without any errors i will convert all the units into si units okay and the si unit of length is meter now here it is square millimeter so i will have to write first of all it is 500 ac right now it is square millimeter so i will write 10 to the power minus 6 meter square okay i will not write meter square multiplied by ec ec is here 200 gigapascal 
200 multiplied by now giga giga is 10 to power 9 because pascal is unit of pressure and the assigned unit of pressure is pascal not giga pascal that's why i translated giga into a number 10 to power 9 okay now all of it is equal to rb multiplied by lb length of bronze is here 1.2 divided by here is 1.5 right i will just write 1.5 multiplied by ab cross area of bronze which is 900 square millimeter multiplied by eb which is 120 gigapascal right now from this equation let me find the ratio let me write rc divided by rb okay i will find the ratio of rc by rb here so what we are going to find rc by rb now this thing will go in this direction i hope you know these things and this 4 will go downwards right so i will write it 5 multiplied by 500 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 200 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 1.5 multiplied by 900 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 120 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 4 okay now this is 10 to the power minus 6 10 to the power minus 6 they will cancel out and this is 10 to the power 9 this is 10 to the power 9 they will cancel out now these two zeros in the 500 and these two zeros in the 900 they will also cancel out so we are left with this thing when we solve it in the calculator what i will get let me use the calculator it is 0 0.925 so i can erase all of this here Also, we can write RC as uh, if I take RB in this direction, what I will get? Okay, now we found the RC to be 0 0.925 RB. Okay, now I will substitute RC here. Okay, I will write RC in terms of RB, or I can also write RB in terms of RC, it doesn't matter. Now I will I choice to replace the RC. Okay. So here I can what I can do here, I can do here. Let me er erase this RC here, and I will write 0 0.925 into RB. Okay. 0 0.925 RB multiplied by 5. Right. Now when you solve this 5 multiplied by 0 0.925, then you also have 1.5 RB. Now RB and RB they are the same terms. I will find RB here. Okay reaction at b so let me use a calculator to calculate 0 0.925 multiplied by 5 plus 1.5 what do we get we get minus 6.125 rb plus 200 multiplied by 10 to power 3 now 10 to power 3 is just three zeros okay 0 0 0 multiplied by 3 it is equal to 0 now 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, so I can erase this here. Now, from here you can find RB, right? RB will be 600000 divided by 6.125, right? Now, let me use a calculator. I will see what is the value of RB. Okay, I get RB to be 97959, okay? 59.18 i will round off it to newton okay now here we go we found rb 97959.2 newton right now you'll say why it is newton because all of these equations i have only used the si units okay like length meter pascal and all those things because I have used only SI units, so whatever I will get, I know it will be in Newton. Why? Because the SI unit of force or reaction is Newton. I have used only SI units, so I will go get only the result in SI units. That's why I know it will be Newton. Anyways, now 
I know RB okay <laughs> actually I want to tell you I want to find RC okay reaction at C. I want I told you I want to find this RC but it's okay because I substituted RC I replaced it here RB uh, RC so I found RB okay I wrote I wrote this equation only in terms of RB so I found reaction at B no problem I will write I found the reaction at B so what I will do I will find Delta B okay I will find Delta B from RB so <clears throat> let me found uh, let me erase all of this first now I will find Delta B what is the value of Delta B equation of Delta B it will be RB LB divided by AB EB okay now what is the value of RB it is 97959.2 LB is the length of bronze which is 1.2 meters okay I will keep it in meters because that is SI unit now AB is cross section area of bronze it is 900 square millimeter so I will write 10 to the power minus 6 it will be meter square multiplied by EB is 120 giga Pascal 120 giga minus 10 power 9 and Pascal is the SI unit so I will keep like that now when I solve this what I will get let me use a calculator 97959.2 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 900 multiplied by now 10 to power minus 6 and 10 to power 9 when you solve this bases are same powers are added it will be 9 minus 6 it is 3 it will be 10 power 3 okay if you have any problem please comment I will definitely help you but I hope I am clear multiply by 120 so I think I get I hope it's correct 0 0.001088 meters now why I say it is meters because everything is in SI units and meter is SI unit now I found Delta B okay so let me erase all of this now I know the delta B okay let me re redraw this triangle now this is point A this is B this is D this is E this is delta W this is delta B right now I know delta B I know this thing okay B B dash this is D D dash I have to find D D dash now consider this triangle A D D dash in triangles A D D dash and A B B dash. Now in this triangle A D D dash okay and this triangle A B B dash okay. Can you see they have a common angle A when the angle is same the tan of the angle is same so tan of a d d dash is what delta w okay tan of a d d dash okay it is the perpendicular and this is the base a d is the base how much is a d as you can see here from here to here it is three meters right it is three meters and how much is AB as you can see it is 1.5 meters 1.5 meters now Delta W divided by 3 it is equal to Delta B divided by 1.5 now I know Delta B here right now I can find Delta W very easily because that was what we wanted to find that was the problem all about right I convert this into this right Delta W will be 3 will go upwards 3 divided by 1.5 3 divided by 1.5 multiplied by Delta B right now Delta B is how much this is Delta B so I can write here 0 0.001088 so when I swallow this meters right so I found the value of Delta W to be this if I convert it into millimeters it will be approximately equal to, no it will be equal to 1 2 and 3 it will be equal to 
2.176 millimeters which will be approximately equal to 2.2 millimeters okay this is the value of delta w so here we found find the vertical movement of w this is the vertical movement d to d dash which is delta w so which is approximately 2.2 millimeters 2.2 millimeters so we solved this problem now you can download the pdf of this video lecture the link will be in the description also you have if you have any problems you can contact me okay the link to contact me is in the description you can contact me there so i think i hope you enjoy learning the process and thank you for watching my video lectures see you in the next class bye bye